This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in Barcelona and behind me here you see Fisker Ocean. This is fully electric um, SUV. So let me show you from my side here. It is a beautiful car. What do you say? Well, I mean, it's not up to me to decide, but this is a, it's a, a pre-production. It's even before a uh, prototype. So there's a lot of stuff here that doesn't work yet. It's just to show you what the car will look like. So most, uh, lots of the electronics here doesn't work, but at least the shape, the materials, lots of the stuff here you see is going to look more or less like this. So it's not going, yeah. So just to give you guys an idea, so just doing a little external shot now to see and for example here look at this we have some aerodynamic rims and first i thought they were dirty but they're actually not dirty you see it's recycled carbon fiber i've never seen anything like this before which means that they should be light fairly huge red tires are trying to find there here 255, 45, 22 inch. Wow, that's huge. What about front? Um, where, where is it? Where is it? There. 255, 45, 20. Okay, same. So uh, non staggered. Huge wheels. We have 360 camera. We have a camera here. Well, at least it's, it's a dummy, but the camera will be there. There's also a camera in the front here somewhere. Um, yeah, there, there's a camera. And then this car supposedly has digital radar. I actually don't know what the whole digital radar is, but there's supposed to be radar that looks around the car. Uh, we also camera back. I don't know what's in the, if there is a front here, but uh, it doesn't seem to have that big um, front. You see, the nose is fairly short compared to many other cars, especially the German cars. A charge port seems to be on the left front side I haven't seen any other charge point uh, charge port um, placement and then you see also in the top here we have a solar roof now the roof is open so this is similar to uh, I don't know maybe it's one square meters roughly similar to the Ionic 5 roof and it's in the open state I wonder if there's also solar beneath here or not but I don't know if you notice here, this is kind of weird. We have the California mode now. And you can take in California mode, you can roll down all the windows, but not just the regular windows. You can roll, you can even, I usually call this a triangle window. You can also roll down this window and the back window here. You can also roll on this one. <laughs> that is kind of crazy. And also we have a camera there. Now the backup camera is here, the normal backup camera, but this is actually for, for uh, the mirror camera. So there is a flip, there's a switch inside here that lets you switch to the digital camera, a digital uh, mirror or something. So in case you will load the whole car to the max, you can still see behind. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So door handle, this is a different car, but the door handle is supposed to pop out like this and then it retracts when it's, we are driving. And here we have the interior. So uh, Fisker told me that this is very close to production, the material. Okay, well, uh, so at least this is soft. Uh, let me check here. We have, do we have a, we don't have any seals here. But we have door seal there. I'm not sure if the final will have a two layer. In typical German cars, they will have seal also on the door side. Electric adjustable seats here. And also these kind of seats. It's supposed to be what you get in the production. Let me just show you guys. Um, usually I would just touch everything. But I think even you can't open the center console. And just give you an idea. The cup holders are there. So here you see. They try to use as many sustainable materials as possible. This is just a dummy. Uh, here we have the screen that you can rotate. I'm not sure how he did it again. 
And so in, in driving mode, it would be something like this. Actually, it makes sense to have, yeah, probably map and stuff here. Uh, but then of course, when you're stationary, you can switch it over to landscape and then watch a movie or whatever. It's like, that's the best of both worlds. And then you see that the air vents here, there is no physical adjustment on the air vents. So I guess that will also be like Tesla or, um, or Taycan style that you have to adjust it inside the screen to change the, the air vents stuff. So the, everything here just looks nice. Huh. This is what you can expect. Let me check out the back. Oh, the back seats, flat floor. Ooh, look at this. Hook there. Oh, there's supposed to be some adjustment here. Okay, let me see. So yes, I can sit in here. Just gonna get an, uh, get an idea. Whoa. Pretty good space, what to say. Just wow, look at this. This is different than other, any other car I've seen. Many cars, they usually have one sh small light source, which then tends to be quite harsh. Here they use a, a bigger, more diffuse light source, which is actually more pleasant to see. I mean, Henrik Fisker, he's, he's a designer. So I don't know how much uh, he has designed this car, but it looks nice. I have to say it looks nice. And also <laughs> it's, a, it's a fairly affordable car, but it still looks so nice. This is fine. Hey, Vega, how tall are you? 190 Six, centimeters. 190 centimeters. Let's check the height. Um, well, that seems to be okay. Yeah. To the limit where the head, your hair is rubbing into the... Yeah, I'm just head. at this corner. It's kind of oh. just touching. 190, okay. I guess for me, that would be more... If you guys have any questions, just let me know. It's a good talk. Thank you. Let's look at here. We have, okay, buttons to adjust the uh, seat. Uh, this one is, not, of course, not supposed to be like that. And you see that all the materials are supposed to be sustainable, recycled if possible. Uh, the vinyl. Yeah. The here has a trunk. So remember, this is still uh, pre-production. Just going to measure it roughly from here. We have 91 centimeters. Not the deepest nice trunk. What about the height? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Height One is that you your job. 66 yeah. centimeters. And then the width? 103 that. centimeters. Huh. And what about loading height? Oh, let me see. That latch won't be exposed either. It's about 80 centimeters yeah. loading height, so it's fairly tall. Okay, you have under. Oh, that's a plenty of space. And then this one seems to be a power outlet. And uh, this seems to be 12 volt, but it's just a dummy. Yeah. So, okay. So, huh, decent space there. Here. Some space inside there. This could be a button for something. Maybe a button to fold the seats. Maybe. Show on this side also. Those wheels, humongous uh, wheels, 22 inch. Yeah, anyway, uh, let me check also the wipers. Yeah, they, they just seem to be standard. It's kind of, yeah, there they're, they're, they're even no, uh, there, there are no uh, nozzles or anything here, but it seems to be stationary nozzles. So, but, okay, anyway, I think that's gonna be it. Now you guys have seen a little bit of it. So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.